Hi dear. Is breakfast ready? So Sheriff Evans, Mr. John Evans, why don't you tell me a little bit about you? When you decided to become a chef, when you decide to be the strong arm of the law, well, I guess a dead man walking like me doesn't deserve the words from a prettiest man like you. It's funny you say that, Marston, especially when it was you who gave up yourself. I have my own reasons, you know. Yeah, my own reasons. I didn't choose. I didn't get the right choices like you. I was born in a law like my father and my grandfather for him. This is what I do since I remember. This is what I am. Do you remember your mother, Chef? I don't. He left me when I was a little boy. And my father, he was already part of a gang, you know. The words I remember the most from him was, your life begin when you know you can die and you can kill too. And then he made me shoot the man in the head. He was on his knees, and I shot him. I was 11 years old. The life you got, it doesn't justify to kill or steal. You're right, it doesn't. Hey.
this nest and chef take off with shit for me. Gonna bring my arms on it. Why we escape now, huh? In the middle of nowhere. Can we stop for a minute, please? We are about six hours from town. If we keep going at this pace, you could sleep on a bed tonight. And tomorrow. What about tomorrow? I don't care about a bed. Tomorrow. The rope will be waiting for me, anyways, tomorrow morning. So, please, let's just rest for a second. Where were you going when they sent you as my chaperone? You really like to talk, Marston, don't you? Let's just say I have the urge to talk. What if I ask you a question to change things around? Why did you give up? I did something very... Very bad. I never had the choice in my life to choose. And now I choose. I choose not to kill anyone. In order to do that, I surrender. That was the only way. You won't get redemption just for giving your life if you're not really regretful. <laughs> Are you going to stop preaching now, Sheriff? I don't believe in God and redemption either. I just believe that a man can only change his fate. But your fate is dead now. Yeah. And I'm terrified. Silver City? I was on my way to Silver City. That's small town. Have you been there before? No. Ever. So how are they going to know that you're the chef when we get there? Well, I got my badge and a letter signed by the president himself in my pocket. That should be enough. That should be enough, I bet. So, another question, Mr. Evans. How many guys have you killed? One man, one life. Does it really matter so many? Uh, yes. Hell, a few compared to you, I guess. Two. I killed two at the same time. We got ambushed. There were three of them. My deputy. He got the third one. 
I shoot down the other two. Two guys at the same time. Oh, you were lucky, sir. That's right. And that's the good part. And what's the bad part? Luck runs out. Mr. John Evans, easy, easy. Don't you think if we want to kill you, we wouldn't have done it already? It doesn't matter what I think. What do you want? That simple, Sheriff. We want him. How are you, boss? Hi, you, sir. How's it going? Not too well, boss. Not too well, you know. You left us. You didn't say anything. After the last job, you disappear. And then we hear that crazy story eh, that you had surrendered yourself. Jack Marston surrendered to justice. Well, see to believe, right, Philo? Huh, and you really believe that? Well, it's good to see you, bro. I'm afraid they can't give him back to you. Marston, he's a prisoner from the state, and I have to make him force the law. Whoa, easy. No matter what. We don't want bullets flying around and hitting the good Jack Marston here. Leaving this world without telling us where is it, what belongs to us. Come on, Sheriff. You only have two bullets. And well, there's three of us. So, it's a lost battle. Don't put your luck. That's right, Sheriff. It's a lost battle. Jackson. Get them off. Don't do it, Marston. Don't make me. What about the decision you made? It doesn't matter, Sheriff. There are three against you. So the question is, are you feeling lucky today? You're still a very lucky man, Chef. We're alive. Hey. Easy. Easy, easy. Come on, man. Stay with me. Kill. What are you going to do? No. Just like wild horses running into the morning sun. Stop the blood from flowing to what you were like. <laughs> 